People working in the Orlando TV news business say this story created the biggest media frenzy they've ever seen. Now the story was big when little Kaylee went missing and it exploded when her remains were found here nearly six months later. A veteran investigative reporter explains the difficulties covering a story like this that so many people connected with. Justice for Kaylee! From the beginning, you had a photogenic mother. You had a beautiful young daughter who was missing. A mystery unfolding in real time. Tony Pipitone, a 30-year TV news veteran, was on the story the night it broke. It sounded so bizarre that you just knew there was more to the story than what was being said. He followed and progressed the story every day until a jury acquitted Orlando mom Casey Anthony of murdering her daughter Kaylee, but convicted her of lying to police. Tony shows us his massive archive, thousands of pages of documents, all relating to the case. Here's her statements to the Orange County Sheriff's Office. He's even got a tabloid news file showing us just how far. I mean, just look at this stuff. Some of the lies went. Kaylee mom guilty. Well, not really. Uh, chilling prison diary. Well, it wasn't that chilling. Had an accomplice and he's still on the loose. Really? Part of Tony's job in this three-year media vacuum was debunking inaccuracies. Somewhere out there, the devil is dancing tonight. Some of it was appalling. I mean, uh, to turn on these tabloid TV shows and to hear these people saying things that you know aren't true. Using Florida's public records law, Tony's team delved into Casey's background. He tracked her social media profiles and located exactly where she made calls and text messages the day Kaylee disappeared. Tony was also in the courtroom sitting just feet away from Casey when the jury's verdict was read. We, the jury, find the defendant not guilty. The gallery, the lawyers, the Anthonys, and the media, all quiet. Our justice system delivers a controversial decision, one that this reporter reminds us must be respected. In this country, even with all that going on, you find 12 people who look at this evidence and say, no way. They didn't come close to proving that she murdered her child. Coming up, all new at 6 o'clock, the controversial and very permanent way one group plans on honoring Kaylee's memory right on this spot in Orlando. Peter Schaller, CBS 12 News.